breaking news. FBI agents just arrived in Little Rock, it's starting. What do you get when you untie the hands of the Justice Department and a president with some backbone in the Oval Office? An investigation into corruption. Whenever there is a party control change in Washington, the way there was during the last election, there is always a lot of talk about investigations. The difference between when liberals get into power and when conservatives get into power is that the liberals are allowed to investigate and usually find nothing, but Republicans are left dealing with adults acting like toddlers and a much smaller chance to investigate wrongdoing. We're still seeing a pattern of ticked off Clinton members getting in the way of justice. The last time this happened was when President Bush was elected in 2000. The outgoing Clinton administration and leftover Democrats made Bush's life as miserable as possible. It took the nation being shaken by 9-11 to finally solidify his cabinet and take the focus off of the petulant toddlers in Washington and back on more significant issues. This time around, Clinton didn't win, but she and many of her supporters still threw a fit about it. The Justice Department is finally ready to get down and dirty to investigate her actions in an attempt to win the election. The Conservative Post reports that the FBI is in Little Rock, Arkansas, where the Clintons used to live, and they are ready to sift through everything the Clintons own to find evidence of any crimes committed by Hillary Clinton. With James Comey finally out of the way, the Justice Department is going after Hillary Clinton like it should have years ago. Earlier this month, the department launched a fresh investigation into alleged criminal activity by Hillary when she served as Barack Obama's Secretary of State. In particular, Clinton stands accused of engaging in pay-to-play politics with regards to an agreement with Russia that's been labeled Uranium One. But that's not the only serious charge. There's mounting evidence that the Clinton Foundation was the recipient of enormous sums of money quite possibly in return for policy favors from Hillary. The Hill reported that FBI agents stationed in Little Rock, Arkansas, where the Clinton Foundation was started, are taking the lead in the case. They've already interviewed a number of witnesses, with much more activity promised in the coming weeks. This is just the beginning, but we might finally see crooked Hillary get what's coming to her. Americans have hopes and dreams about Hillary Clinton going to prison. Even many who weren't concerned about her before the 2016 election has found the accusations leveled against her to be disturbing enough to make them want and warrant an investigation. As so many liberals told us when it came to President Trump's campaign if no wrong was done, they have nothing to worry about, so why not investigate? We say the same thing about Hillary Clinton. If she has nothing to hide, then there is nothing to worry about. Before anyone screams about privacy, just remember that she put herself in the position to be investigated when she became a senator and the secretary of state. She hasn't been a private citizen for a very long time. Everything about her life is open for discussion. Thankfully, this investigation recently opened. Here are more details about the much-anticipated investigation from the Hill. The Justice Department has launched a new inquiry into whether the Clinton Foundation engaged in any pay-to-play politics or other illegal activities while Hillary Clinton served as Secretary of State, law enforcement officials and a witness tells The Hill. The officials, who spoke only on condition of anonymity, said the probe is examining whether the Clintons promised or performed any policy favors in return for a largesse to their charitable efforts or whether donors made commitments of donations in hopes of securing government outcomes. The probe may also examine whether any tax-exempt assets were converted for personal or political use and whether the foundation complied with applicable tax laws, the officials said. One witness recently interviewed by the FBI described the session to the Hill as extremely professional and unquestionably thorough and focused on questions about whether donors to Clinton charitable efforts received any favorable treatment from the Obama administration on a policy decision previously highlighted in media reports. The witness discussed his interview solely on the grounds of anonymity. He said the agents were from Little Rock and their questions focused on government decisions and discussions of donations to Clinton entities during the time Hillary Clinton led President Obama's State Department. The FBI office in Little Rock referred a reporter Thursday to Washington headquarters, where officials declined any official comment. 
The Wall Street Journal reported late last year that several FBI field offices, including the one in Little Rock, had been collecting information on the Clinton Foundation for more than a year. The report also said there had been pushback to the FBI from the Justice Department. Officials also said the Justice Department was re-examining whether there are any unresolved issues from the closed case into Clinton's transmission of classified information through her personal email server. Former FBI Director James Comey in 2016 concluded Clinton was extremely careless in handling that classified information and that there was some evidence of legal violations, but he declined to recommend charges on the grounds that he could not prove Clinton and her top aides intended to break the law. His decision was roundly criticized by Republicans, and recent revelations that his statement was watered down by edits and that he made the decision before all witness interviews were finished have led to renewed criticism. A senior law enforcement official said the Justice Department was exploring whether any issues from that probe should be reopened but cautioned the effort was not at the stage of a full investigation.